I'm just wanting to say thank you very much. I've recently just been phoned to be told that I've been nominated for a Vlogsker, which is a new award that's going out, run by Gary Norman of RE Photography. And I've been told I've been nominated, so I'm actually filming for next week's vlog just now, but I've been given this and I thought I'd, I have to film my reaction to it. So Anna's on the phone just now, and well, let's see what news there is. The second award is for the most honesty in photography blogging. And that award goes to Adam Wadjakacha Russell. So well done, Adam. <laughs> Ta -da! Well done. Well, I won my first vlog skirt. So I want to say thank you very much to well, Gary for running the Vlogskers and give, giving me this award. Um, Anna for handing it to me and being my faithful assistant on vacation. I believe the vlog was awarded to me for making the most, well, the Vlogskers was award for doing the most honest vlogs. And I have to say, I just get out there and I want to film for you guys. So thank you to you guys, all 715 of you, and also maybe to my Instagram people who were 500 or so. So thank you very much, and I will continue to make my honest vlogs for you all. I started this morning at Bamborough Castle, and, well, it was pish. It was pishing it down, it was sleety, but I had some company arrive in the way of Darren J. Spoonley. Hello! And the Irish Dermot O'Donovan over there having a nice slash. Is that what he's doing? Sorry. So, oh, and in the background, you will hear John Haswell as well. Anna's, well, as I'm always, in the van. <laughs> but the thing is, we went from Bamra Castle to go and find a lone tree, but we've had some snow. The Irish Photography Podcast. And on yeah, tour. There's the Irish Photography Podcast, boys, oh, on tour with us. And in reality, what's happened? is we had a lot of snow, the van tires need changed, so I didn't have as much grip as I'd like, and I ended up somewhere shot. miles away from where they were. Just met back up with them in Alnwick, we're gonna try and get some shots, we're gonna go watch the rugby, and hopefully Wales will win, and take the grand slam. Why your catcher! <laughs> and that was really loud in my ear. I now know where we are. We're at this place called Corby's Letch. It's a wee waterfall, literally right by the roadside. And yeah, it's all right. Me and Darren agree the same thing. If there's more flow, it'd be interesting. If there's more snow, it'd be interesting. If Dodd falls in the stream, it'll be interesting. But other than that, I can't really be arsed opening my bag. So I'm gonna stand here and chew chewing gum while everyone else takes photos. And then if I ask them nicely, I might get their best shot and show that now. You know what really actually spins my polarizer with landscape photography? We come to these beautiful places. Somebody's come up here and they've ditched a packet of crisps in the river. Why? That's not going to deteriorate. That's just making a beautiful place look like shite. So you know what? I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to pick that up. I'm probably going to B-roll me picking that up to prove my point. I'm going to take it back to the van and put it in the, ba in the bin in the van. Because what is the point in that? I think Ben Horn even did a video talking about this. It's just not on. Seriously, was it that hard? I'm still just trying to see if I can find a composition. I think Dodd's gonna go for a long exposure shot standing on the rock, because in reality, I'm just no feeling it. Darren's set up down behind me, and gone wandering over. So all in all, I don't mind if I don't get a shot. Just good to actually get hanging out with the Irish Photography Podcast. Adam, the rescuer of nature, is not yet done. Someone's left a nice bottle of Lucozade. It's not faded, so I am actually guessing that it's quite recent. 
I will rescue that as well. We're in Alnwick now and we're walking to the Black Swan pub because it's rugby time. John has headed home so we're going to go watch the Ireland-Wales game with uh, Dodd and Darren the Dodd. and the, with the Dodd as Anna says and then we'll probably find ourselves somewhere to go to watch the Scotland-England game later on and see how this Six Nations is all going to end. Making our way back to the van, we it's just half time in the Ireland-Wales game and Ireland are getting severely humped by Wales. So, <laughs> as you can understand, I just don't know podcast boys aren't happy with that. So we've decided we're going to head back to Bamborough where we were this morning and last night, get that shot and then maybe Dunstanborough for sunset. I'm about to walk in front of a wedding photographer's photo, so I will sneak behind him instead and I will let you see him. See, wedding photographer. Anyway, that's us back at the van. Catch up with very shortly. Well, we're back where it all began earlier on today. We are at Bamber Castle again. And to be honest, we're getting some gorgeous sort of late afternoon glow. Wales have just taken the Grand Slam. If you're watching this for some reason to get the rugby scores, then you're a wee bit late. But anyway, they took it quite nicely and sadly to the podcast boys, it wasn't a nice game. Anyway, we're getting some gorgeous light. I've never shot here before, but I've looked and I can see some potential because you've got all these reeds running along the side. You've got nice dunes. You've got some rocks with reflections down there. There's high level cloud, but there is a big blank of crap on the horizon that could really screw us over. But in reality, Dodge should be behind me somewhere, probably pulling faces. Darren's down that way. Let's get some shots done. I found a composition that I think I liked. I got a big boulder, that one just behind me there, in a sort of my foreground anchor, pulling my to there, and then the image further back I took what I feel is an accurately focused image for me now to check when I get home or I might potentially go with focus stacking is the other option which I'm still trying to get better at. It is very windy just now so I'm trying to hold you towards the wind. I'm not sure what this guy's doing, I've got big blankets of clouds but they're breaking up, moving apart. Darren's further down that way, Dodd's over that way on the sand. I'm clambering about the rocks trying to find something interesting. I just fancy a wee textured photo more than sort of a big vista as it were. Luckily I'm refilming this for you because I did my usual and to zoom the camera out. Now I'm getting battered now by the wind. It's picking up quite fierce. So I'm not sure what the weather's going to do, but I found a composition that I quite like. It's this leading line taking you straight up through, using the rocks and the water, taking you straight up to the castle. And with the different sort of vantage points for height, I feel if I should low down, it'll probably negate the sand and it'll disappear quite a lot. And it'll give this line almost straight bang up to the castle. So while I'm blowing about, I'm going to try and get myself set up and get this shot. Run back to the vans because I've needed to change your battery. But to be honest, I've just got soaked absolutely through to my pants. So my pants are wet and it's not even because of the photo I shot. But oh, we just had one hell of a storm cell come straight over the top of us. I waited yeah. for the composition and I got soaked. But you know what? As far as I could tell, that was an absolute stunner. And I cannot wait to get that back to the house, onto the laptop. 
and see what that does. So, you know what? Bring it in, guys, enjoy. Try and see if I can get another composition before I call it quits here. So I'm walking back down through these dunes. The sky is phenomenal behind me, but there's no subject matter to actually make the shot worthwhile. So we'll wander back down through the dunes. Maybe even the dunes will do something and I'll get a line and get maybe the blur of them all. Let's go up this bit. Whoop, wait, whoop, ah. Yeah, I think maybe if I go over there, there might be a line of the dunes to the castle. And if I get the colour, I'll get the shot. Maybe I'm not going to go for the sand dunes because I can't find a nice composition that I like even though I took my bag off which is why it's hanging on one shoulder but from up high I just saw the way the wind is blowing the sands you're getting lines of sand it's gorgeous again this is, oh, I know I didn't take any photos earlier in this vlog where I was just more a b-roll vlog but oh, this has turned out to be one hell of a day so I'm going to get myself set up, I'm going to need to not go stupidly long exposure because it will just blur but I want to try and capture this sand being blown across Well, what can I say? Thank you, first of all, to all the subscribers that I have I think I'm now at 715 which means I've managed to break that 680 barrier that I seem to be dancing around for almost a month but thank you, because I know personally that I can come across that I bitch and I moan and I grump and I groan in my vlogs. But today, today has been astounding. Today's been one of those days that I love being a landscape photographer. We were up at half six to utterly appalling weather here. And then we went, we got lost slash nearly stranded in the van. But then we got to the waterfall that I had no interest in photographing because I just wasn't feeling it. I was feeling pissed off and moany. So I didn't bother and I just b-rolled. I'd like to know what your opinions are, whether you liked my very b-roll based beginning of my vlog or did you hate it? Then obviously we went and watched some rugby and we came here back to Pampera Castle and got soaked had a hell of a storm on us but oh by god i've enjoyed my evening i've enjoyed my day but tonight has been astounding the weather has been dramatic the light has been phenomenal these are the days that i love being a landscape photographer do you ever get those days now i'm sure i've got a few more images i need to show you so we'll roll them in just now I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed the images. Hope you've enjoyed today as much as I have. So a big thank you to John Haswell, first of all, for being our guide, to Dermot O'Donovan and Darren J. Spoonley from the Irish Photography Podcast. Give that a listen, absolutely brilliant crack. They've also got John Myler, but he, he had some reason to not come and see me. A bit offended, but it's all right. We're gonna go find somewhere to sleep for the night. Might go to the photography show tomorrow. Might just head up the coast and try and get another vlog in the bag because we are off to Italy snowboarding again. But everyone, thank you. Thank you for coming with me on this today. If you've stayed to this end, thank you even more. But in reality, guys, today's been brilliant and I hope you've enjoyed it. In a bit.